Hey guys, it's PC Crown 1056. Today I'm going to show you uh, my weather radio collection as of February 2012. Happy Groundhog's Day. First radio I want to show you is my Radio Shack 12519 weather radio, which I got in, in December 2011. It's a great radio. You can also listen to AM FM. Very interesting radio. One of the most expensive ones, too, next to the WRF 300, but, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good radio. I highly suggest that you get it because it's really good radio. I have nothing else to say about it. Moving on, this is a WR 300 weather alert radio from Midland. It, I got this uh, exactly one year ago, so I think today's his birthday. I think I got it on the 2nd of February, 2011. Groundhog's Day. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's real good radio. Right now I have it on single county mode because my mom said I'm allowed to keep it on at night if it's on single county mode. So, yep, that way it won't go off or any random other alerts. And the good thing about this radio is you can choose uh, your alerts. All this other stuff. And also you can choose what if you want the, you know, record weekly test on or off and any of that. Next radio I want to show you is my WR120. This radio is, has a very, very interesting story behind it. Um, <clears throat> here's my WR100. My WR100 was having severe problems. I don't know if you saw my video, but if you did, then there's half of the story right there. So I emailed Midland, asking them if they could send me a replacement WR100. Said they sent me this WR120 and four more of these WR120s, so I had five of these total. Obviously, I didn't keep all five, I just kept this one right here. Um, yeah, otherwise, it's a great radio, I love it. And all that. Next radio, this is my WR100. This is actually the broken one. See, this is broken and yeah it's broken this is a broken one <laughs> I just brought it out I want to see if it would still work it works fine but I'm assuming it's gonna die soon I got this one back in uh, March 2007 that's how old that one is and then the one over here is Brand, this is the most likely new one. I think I got I got this one in uh, September 2011. After that one over there was having severe problems, so we went to Walmart and picked this up. It was under a pile of clothes in the clearance aisle, so I'm glad I got it. it still works great. <clears throat> one of my favorites. Next radio I want to tell you is the Radio Shack 125. Two one weather radio. I got this one back in, I think June 2011. It's a great radio. Our temperature 40. This is, it's a cousin to the 12262 right up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, physical differences are the two volume buttons and the select buttons here and the menus there. This one menu select is there and no volume buttons there. <coughs> and uh, other. Uh, differences I'll explain later. It's great radio. I love it a lot. One of my other favorites. Next one I want to show you is this one. This is my Radio Shack. Oh, I can't really see that. I need light. Radio Shack 12550. Radio Shack 12550. Radio Shack 12550. This radio does not work at all. I put batteries in it, so I wanted to see if it will work. Instead of going to channel 7, which is my normal channel, as you can see. <coughs> went to channel 1, and when I pressed the weather snooze, nothing happened. So, this radio is basically dead for me. And I probably will not get it, be getting a replacement anytime soon. However, this radio was purchased around <coughs> the same time uh, I got my first WR100, and I got this one as a gift. I also got this one as a gift. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
Um, yeah. So that's the story with uh, the 12550. Um, next radio is uh, my handheld right here. This is the Radio Shack 12522 weather radio. Um, Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 40s. It's great radio. NWR Geek, one of my friends on YouTube. Has the same radio and he likes it a lot. <clears throat> a lot of other people have this radio. They like it a lot. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I keep on coughing. Um, <clears throat> this radio is really useful. I got it after Irene stole my brand new uh, HH54 VP2, which was located in the basement at the time of Hurricane Irene, which flooded the basement, <clears throat> destroying the uh, HH-54 and the, <coughs> the HH-54 and 12262 right here, which I managed to sell, which I still work. So this is a real weather radio because it's actually been through weather. <coughs> I'll get to that one in a second. This one, however, I got at the same time as I got the 12521. They are both replacements for the uh, 12, 12262 and HH-54. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the story with that. Let me just turn this off. Alright, next radio I wanted to point out was the uh, 12262. 10 to 15 knots becoming west. <clears throat> and as I said before, it still works even though it was 8 feet below underwater during Irene. <clears throat> um, my parents managed to uh, clean it out and all that. That's not the case with the HH-54 though. Uh, that one we lost totally. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's basically my collection. Oh, wait, I forgot one more. This one right here. This is my Springfield weather radio. <clears throat> I lost its antenna. I broke off. So yeah, I have to have it, hold a piece of tape there, and I have to like play around with it in order to get signal. And then you can change the channel by doing this. And I don't like this. I just keep that off. <clears throat> yep. So these are my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, technically nine. Because I have two of these. But as you know, this is uh, my Weather Radio collection. <clears throat> Alright, guys. This is SPC Cranfield on 056. This is my Weather Radio collection for Groundhog's Day 2012, aka February 2nd, 2012. Um, I will be back soon. Um, comment, like, you know, I'll do all that fun stuff. Alright, guys.